Two boys spotted something unusual on the railroad tracks. As they approached, they realized it was not an ordinary sight and that someone or something needed rescuing. Children are often exceptionally curious and love embarking on adventures. Jacob and Max, the two boys in question, were no exception. One day, while walking along the railroad tracks, they noticed something out of the ordinary. As they drew closer, they realized, Jacob and Max, do you remember when you were young and played outside with your friends, feeling happy and free? Maybe your hair was longer then, blowing in the wind as you enjoyed playing games and having fun with your friends. Playing outside is not just fun, but also helps kids learn and grow. Sometimes, you might find something surprising while playing. Jacob and Max Vincent are two brothers from the U.S. They like to explore the area near their home, including walking along a railroad track in 2014. They enjoyed watching trains go by and knew the train schedules well. This helped them know when it was safe to be on the tracks. One day, as the two brothers walked along the tracks, something captured Jacob's attention out of the corner of his eye. It looked like a big black stone in between the train tracks. The boys moved closer to take a closer look. Jacob and Max both stood in awe, gobsmacked at what they discovered. What was it? The brothers came across a very large snapping turtle that had trapped itself between the train tracks. Jacob and Max could tell that every time the turtle strolled in vain, it became more and more stuck. They both looked at each other and knew they had to do something. The brothers had to act quickly before the next train came. Would they be able to do it? Jacob instantly ran down to the nearby river in order to fill up his water bottle and proceeded to pour it onto the dried up turtle to try and help her regain the hydration and energy she had sadly lost. The boys didn't know if the turtle had been stuck wedged in between the tracks for hours or even days. Jacob and Max tried relentlessly to free the poor turtle from her tight spot, to no avail. The next train was scheduled to be passing through in an hour. Time was running out for them to save it. The brothers knew they had to act fast to save the turtle's life. They decided to call for some extra hands in the form of their local animal control team. Time passed, and the time for the train rolled ever so nearer. The brothers knew they would hear its whistle within minutes, maybe even see the front of it peeking through the trees. But all they could do was wait anxiously for animal control to arrive. Finally, the animal control team arrived and immediately got down to work. However, the added presence of new people made the turtle panic and it began to wiggle about. A light bulb went off in Jacob's head and he decided to push a nearby piece of wood under the turtle's tummy to help slide her out. Everyone pulled together and thankfully, with all those helping hands and added elbow grease, Jacob's bright idea paid off. 20 minutes later, she was free as a bird. The turtle slowly crawled away back to her home, no doubt relieved and thankful for her kind rescuers. Jacob and Max could have easily turned a blind eye to the turtle and carry on their walk. I mean, the turtle completely blends in with its surroundings and looks like a black rock to the untrained eye. If the turtle was left any longer, she could have not only suffered harm from the train, but also starvation. Let's hope she avoids the train tracks in the future. Common snapping turtles are found throughout North America, from Eastern Canada to Ecuador. They are hunted for their meat, but are actually omnivores that eat plants and animals. These turtles spend most of their time underwater, waiting for food to float by. They have powerful jaws that can bite off fingers and toes, but they prefer to avoid confrontations. However, they will defend themselves if they feel threatened, especially if you try to pick them up. Zarat. Working as a garbage collector is tough and risky. They operate big machines that can be dangerous and work in areas with hazardous materials and heavy traffic. Despite taking precautions like exercising and avoiding unhealthy habits, accidents can still happen. It's important to remember and appreciate the people who keep our streets clean. Zarat is a bin man who lives in Coahuila, Mexico. He loves his job and interacting with all the people along his daily routes. One day in 2020, as he was doing the daily rounds with his colleagues in rural Mexico, they caught hold of something that took them by surprise. What do you think it was? The men spotted a black moving object in a waterway on the side of the road. They were both intrigued to move the truck closer. It was highly unusual for them to see something in the canal. As the two got closer, Zara was able to identify that it was a dog who somehow got stuck and drifted into the canal. The bid men stopped the moving truck and Zara leaped out, bringing an empty sack with him. Zaret threw the empty sack in the water in the hope that the dog would be able to cling to it and be pulled out. The dog was clearly exhausted from using all its energy to just stay afloat 
that it didn't have enough left over to grab the sack. Time was running out to rescue the stranded dog. Would they manage to, or would the dog go under? Zaret wasn't about to give up without a fight. He knew that his colleague and himself were the dog's only chance of survival, and them leaving and carrying on with their duties would weigh heavily on his mind. He managed to lure the distressed dog towards the canal's steep concrete edge and pull the pooch out of the water and onto safe, dry land. Zaret and his colleague weren't the only ones who were chuffed at the rescue operation. Moments after being rescued by Zarat and without any hesitation or reservations, the dog jumped into his arms and hugged and kissed him in a show of gratitude. The pooch was clearly thankful that Zarat not only noticed him, but also that he went out of his way to save his life. The dog was fine after the rescue. He happily played with the two men for a bit, then ran back home to his family on a nearby farm. Zaret believes the dog has a loving family and that the canal incident was just an accident. What do you think? Zaret posted the rescue video online and the dog's owners contacted him to thank him. The story could have ended badly, but Zaret and his colleague were there to help. Would you have done the same? Pumpkin, we enjoy having our furry pets with us. Some people have cats and dogs, while others have more unusual pets. Sometimes, we don't realize how important our pets are to us, but to them, we are everything. Pets are adaptable and try to make themselves comfortable with our furniture. Pets like cats and dogs often like to squeeze into small spaces and we wonder how they fit. Pumpkin is a dog who was rescued from a tough life on the streets. She was lonely and cold until she was rescued by the Hawkins County Humane Society in Tennessee, USA. Every day, the rescued dogs play in the shelter's garden. However, one day in 2017, while the shelter staff were calling the dogs back inside, Pumpkin went missing. Pumpkin got herself into a tight spot by crawling under a shed and getting stuck. The shelter staff noticed she was missing and found her under the shed, unable to get out. They tried to lure her out with treats, but she wouldn't budge. Pumpkin, who was pregnant at the time, was too big to be pulled out gently. The staff had to think of a way to free her quickly to avoid harm to her and her unborn puppies. They called in a handyman, Joey Arnold, who lifted the shed with a jack, freeing Pumpkin after an hour. She came out unharmed and very thankful. The volunteers made sure to block off the bottom of the shed to prevent similar incidents in the future. Pumpkin was named for her orange spots, but might be renamed Jackie, due to the rescue involving a car jack. What do you think her new name should be? If you encountered a trapped animal, what action would you take? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you.